in that uh, situation we are going to work with uh, Danny Rodriguez, Professor Rodriguez, with uh, Professor Glenn, uh, and with Robert, other, other professor, other school professor, four generation of uh, instructors uh, solving problems. This is a, a real, real situation with, with a real boat, with a real customer, and uh, we are going to try to solve it, that, that problem on, on that boat. Danny, in this uh, motor, outboard, four strokes, Suzuki, I have in this moment two problems. Yes, the two problems we have is one, the code showing that we have a shift problem. Shift problem. And the second problem is actually a running problem. So when you turn the engine on, it won't idle, it shuts down. Immediately. Immediately. And then so what I have to do to keep the engine running, I have to advance the throttle. So let me explain what I'm doing when I advance the throttle. When I advance the throttle, what I'm doing is I'm giving it more air. The same job with the IAC system does. Correct. Okay, so when the IAC system is working, the plunger moves in and out in order to keep the engine running at a certain RPMs. But if the IAC's not working, well, let's just say it's stuck closed. What happens is the engine dies and it stalls out. Now we are going to connect the computer to scan that engine. It's simple. We have any laptop. The secret is the scanner. The scanner have uh, the connection for the engine. Danny have the connection for the engine into the harness of the engine. And uh, we have the connection for the laptop. We can use any laptop. The secret is the scanner. This is the scanner specific for that specific engine. All right, we are going to connect the computer. The computer is connected with the scanner and the scanner right now is connected with the harness of the engine. Uh, we are going to prepare the conditions. In the bottom, we are going to put water on the lower unit and we are going to connect the, the fuel, the fuel line into the engine in order to start the engine. And we are going to do the diagnosis on the engine right now. Uh, what is the name of the code that you, we have on the computer? Right now we have a shift uh, shift code. And you, and you have suspicious that, that that code is related with the IAC sensor. Well, I, I think we have two different codes. I have we have because the code again we discussed that the so if it's not an electrical failure, it's a mechanical failure. If you notice when we started this engine originally, I had to give it throttle to fire it up, and it'll run good once I have it throttle. It's when I go down the idle, it stalls out. So it could be a mechanical failure as far as the plunger going oh, in and out. Okay. And then okay. as far as the shift, that could be a bad sensor or a shorted out harness. Okay. For that reason, we are going to start with the IAC sensor. Correct. We're gonna first. We're gonna. We're gonna. I will tell you first. We should do is check the the uh, uh, the the shift because that's giving us the code. Got it. And then from there we'll troubleshoot because we know we we I definitely uh, uh, assume that we have an IAC. Code. Okay. We are going to clean and we are going to put it back and, and try again. And try again. All right. Look at the condition, the new condition. It's better. And probably right now it's moving free. Right now the problem was solved. The engine start, not stop. Danny, in that specific engine, 
uh, you have a, a, a leak in between the power unit and the middle section. What yes. is the consequence? Well, <clears throat> consequences is you're going to have exhaust and water coming out the side causing major corrosion. As far as the performance on the engine, I don't think it will affect it that much, but more corrosion issues. Uh, and if it gets any worse, then we might have a, a pressure issue in the, in the middle For section. that reason, uh, we don't have a code in the computer right now. No, we don't have a code with the computer right now for that. That's incredible, no? Yep. It's, a, it's a big issue and you don't have a code because normally the computer only read electrical problems. Correct. And no mechanical yeah. problems. It only, co <laughs> like, like here's, a, here's an example. If you have an IAC, if it's electrical failure, the computer's going to pick up on it. But if it's a mechanical because the throw is not doing it because either carbon buildup or it's just the, the, the thing's worn out, it won't show that code. It only the computer only shows electrical failure. It never shows mechanical. No, mechanical. You can have an injector that works, like just say on the E Tex. Yeah, correct. It works uh, electrically. It works, but mechanically it's not working. The computer won't recognize it. That's why you have to do a drop down yeah, test. Correct.